A Rocky Mount man accused of killing his aunt's dog could soon be let out of jail. A judge recently lowered Jonathan Bullock's bond. As CBS 17's McKinsey Stasco explains, his family is now concerned for their safety. This dirt field was Tigger's playground, also the place where his owner says the nine-year-old Brindle Boxer mix was brutally killed. Hey, boy! His owner didn't want to go on camera, but tells me Tigger was a rescue and part of the family since he was a puppy. On January 24th, deputies say 23-year-old Jonathan Bullock stole Tigger from a family member's house, then beat and dismembered the dog with a chainsaw. That makes me want to cry because I do love animals. Tigger's owner tells me, quote, I don't feel safe. He came in the middle of the night, stole my dog, and brutally murdered him. Bullock was arrested and charged with animal cruelty and animal larceny. This week, a Wilson County judge lowered his bond from $25,000 to $15,000. Now, family is worried someone may bail him out, saying, quote, I don't know if it's a cult type thing or what. The dog's head hasn't been recovered, and there are photos of Jonathan covered in blood. Because Tigger weighed around 70 pounds, his owner believes Bullock had help and says detectives are looking into whether anyone else may be involved. In Rocky Mount, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.